Hi Aquarius, welcome to your singles reading. Who's coming towards me for the month of December? This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you, thank you so much and welcome. So Aquarius, this is a singles reading, so you have to be uh, obviously single. Um, you can be dating or you know, not committed in any way. Um, and we'll see what we get here. So we're going to pull a couple signs. We're going to look at who they are, what's their personality like. Um, where possibly where when like time frame of year uh, what kind of connection it will be advice for you we'll clarify more with tarot to get a fuller picture of who this may be coming into Aquarius singles so let's see what we have I hope everybody's doing well and coming into December already can you believe that all right so Aquarius singles let's see what we have for Aquarius take what resonates I guess in a way and uh, throw away what doesn't could be somebody you know could be somebody new all right Aquarius let's get a couple signs for incoming and this is intended for whenever you see this um, tell whenever I do consider all my readings timeless so Aquarius a couple signs so we have Saturn, which is Capricorn. And we have one more. And the Moon, which is Cancer. So we have Capricorn and Cancer. The Saturn energy there. And the Moon energy. So the Saturn energy is about um, ambitions and goals, security, lessons, challenges, that sort of energy. And the moon energy is all about um, cycles and changes and feelings and um, intuitive energy. It's feminine energy also. Um, so uh, we'll see. You know, the moon is all about energy, uh, feminine energy, feelings, emotions. All right, intuition. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do here is see who they are. What's their energy like? What are they like? Who is this person? Coming into Aquarius single spirit, please. Who is this person coming into Aquarius singles? Okay, so we have the Ace of Spring here. It's time to take action, be fearless, and happy. happily pursue the, your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So this is someone who... Um, it's very passionate, who is very, um, like an entrepreneurship kind of energy. They could be somebody who's just started their own business or something like that, an entrepreneur. They're a go-getter. They could be very, um, just someone who is very courageous and brave. They just go after what they want. They're not afraid to pursue their dreams, their goals, their ambitions. Uh, very enthusiastic, like passionate go-getter kind of energy so all right so let's see let's get a time frame i feel like somebody very exciting well, they're always up for a new challenge they're always up for something new let's see the time frame here so we have spring so this may not be till um spring more of that fiery passionate energy so sometime in the spring doesn't mean you're not going to date other people uh, till then, but this could be a prominent person during this time, springtime. So now we have um, Princess of Summer. Social events. So invitations to social events. So this could be at a social event of some kind. It's in the spring though, so it could be some sort of a spring event or some sort of event that you go to. It could be anything. Um, so if you have any events that you're going to in the spring or something pops up in the spring, an event or you're invited out somewhere or something like that, I would say go because you may meet this person. Um, yeah, so it says right on there, social events. So some sort of social event. So how, that's like sort of um, like the where. So how will you come about meeting this person? <laughs> it 
Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. Wow. So, so I feel like. I feel like they're just going to be there and whatever. This could be some sort of um, event where uh, where like you take part in something. Uh, it's like a very active event or something, if that makes sense. And maybe there too also, I mean, maybe someone invites you to go like hiking or um mountain climbing, I don't know, something, and maybe this person's also hiking or walking on a trail or something like that, because they get a very active energy here, so something very, some sort of active social event or invitation to go out and do something very active in the springtime, and I think that's how you're going to meet this person. You could be horseback riding, you could be uh, anything like that, and I think that's how you're going to meet this person. They're going to be doing the same thing you're doing and that's how you meet them you come about them so and i think i, I do see <laughs> love emotions passion so wow okay so let's see what kind of connection will this be you connect with this person what kind of connection will this be? And it can be male or female watching this. doesn't matter. All right. So what kind of connection will this be for Aquarius? Break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. Hmm. All right. So... <laughs> Because I was just looking at the five of spring here, and that's when, like, time frame you would meet them is the springtime. But the five of spring is about conflict, um, competition, and that sort of energy. Because if I'm, if I'm reading these cards as an energy towards this person rather than how I intentionally wanted each card, um, we do have, you know action here and then we have an uh, invitation here but this is a conflict this is a brand new beginning very passionate new beginning be careful this person i mean the princess of summer is about you know is cups cups are about love and emotions but a lot of passionate energy here so this person may uh want just a passionate connection and if you want more than that this could be um telling you to break free from that or this is telling you to break free to try something new maybe you're trying something new because it says try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn so it could be that you're going out and you're learning something new like cross back riding or something like that and that's how you meet this person a whole new uh experience something you've never done before that could be the case also so let's we'll clarify more with the tarot actually see what's going on here so let's get your because your type the type of connection this would be is saying break free so this could be something that frees you a very freeing connection where you, you know you try different things together you learn new things together new experiences together it could be unlike any connection you've ever had before so that could be it also so let's get your advice let's get your advice Woo. so we have here tune out distractions so your advice is to I'm getting like don't let others distract you about this person um, if you're easily distracted you know this person may not like that if you I'm not saying like don't give them enough attention, but maybe um, if you work a lot or something like that, it may distract from this um, connection. So that could be your advice also. Or when you're with this person, just concentrating on them, being with them, their energy, trying these new things, you know, learning about each other. And don't get too you know, distracted about, you know, the other things around you, your phone and 
you know, work and all that kind of energy. So let's let's get more tarot, see what's going on here. Aquarius and this incoming person. For Aquarius. So I do ask Aquarius um, if you do like my style, how I read. Um, oh, that one's upside down. Please do like, share, subscribe, comment. All that great stuff be greatly appreciated. If you subscribe, do hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, and they're all different for all the signs, so don't miss out on that if you hit the bell. You can check the description box below. Tons of stuff there, how to book a personal reading. Um, tons of stuff. Those who have supported the channel, thank you, thank you so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. And oh, I think we'll take one more. All right, let's see what's going on here. So we have the Ten of Cups. So that's a good energy. This is total bliss, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. So that's a good energy. Five of Cups in reverse. So this is upright. The Five of Cups is sorrow, uh, sorrow, loss, and hurt. So not in that energy anymore. I don't think you're going to get hurt by this person. I thought maybe they could be in that energy because there's so much like this passionate energy here. But I don't think that this is someone uh, that is going to hurt you because we do have the Ten of Cups here, which is fulfillment in every way you can imagine. The Magician. So I think it's going to manifest very quickly. And this is a brand new beginning with one. So manifesting very quickly here. And the two ones. So making plans, decisions uh, for the future. I feel together, very passionate, exciting, new things, adventures, the hangman. So yeah, take time to rest. I think you're going to be doing a lot with this person, of, you know, things you've never done before. I think they're going to show you how to tune out distractions, show you how to like not work so much or be distracted by work, distracted by friends, family that want your attention all the time your phone and all that kind of stuff. I think they're really going to show you like, I'm getting a lot of nature here. So maybe they're very active out in um, nature and doing a lot of like activities. And I think they're going to introduce you to a lot of new things here. And it's going to be very exciting. Very exciting. The emperor. Yeah, somebody here. And I had said that with the Ace of Spring. I felt this is somebody that could be an entrepreneur. They could have just opened their own business of some kind here. Entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial energy here with the Emperor and the Ace of Spring. So I definitely feel like someone here who could also be, you know, maybe they're always trying something new in, in business or their career. But someone who's very successful with the Emperor energy here. And the Four of Swords. Again, with the uh, resting and rejuvening, I feel like you're going to be doing a lot, a lot of activity with this person. Um, you have two cards of like taking a break here. So, and the High Priest. So this could lead to commitment or marriage down the road here. I don't think this person is going to be afraid to commit at all with the High Priest here. Wow. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The devil. So this toxic, little toxic, and the moon. So there's a brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands energy here. I'm not liking this this devil and the moon energy. You know, this is could be some secrets here, uh, toxic energy. Um, five of Wands again with conflict. King of Wands. So that's... Um, you know, someone very passionate. They could have a sex addiction. I don't know. Uh, there's some sort of secret here. Toxic energy that could be secretive. And with this Ace of Wands, a very, you know, passionate energy. Um, so be careful of this. I mean, all this looks good, but then we have this on the bottom, which... I don't like this energy combination together because this is secrets and some sort of toxic energy. So be careful of that. Or this could be just a very, very um, deep, deep connection here. And be careful it doesn't become toxic. And the moon can represent very deep, deep emotions and feelings. And we do have the moon repeating again here. So 
you know, the Saturn does represent Capricorn. So this just could be saying, you know, definitely they could be Capricorn or um, Cancer here. So that could be just a confirmation of that. But this is a very fiery, passionate new beginning. And, you know, the Five of Wands does speak about conflict in that. But, again, you see, like, this outside, like, activity. So I do feel like, you know, entrepreneur kind of energy with the King of Wands. Um, somebody who's very successful and likes to do a lot of outdoor activities. That's what I'm getting from that picture. They could be very, very passionate. I mean, there could be some sort of secrets that could be hiding about some sort of addictions, obsessions, or something like that. Um... If not, then this is just a very strong, strong bond. Be careful it doesn't become toxic. Um, and it could be very deep emotions and feelings here involved also. So I would say, you know, it does look good here, but then be careful that it doesn't become so, like, addicting to one another that it becomes toxic. So, and that could be this break free is try to, you know, not let it, to get to that point. Wow. But I mean, I do see possible marriage or commitment in the future. And this could be, you know, maybe you just need to take little breaks from one another. Uh, just to kind of, you know, calm things down. Um, kind of energy here. But I don't think it's somebody that wants to break your heart. Not with the five of cups in reverse. I think you could trust them. There is love, emotions, there's passion. Don't have any pentacles here. But... You know, the ma magician manifests uh, using everything, so he does have pentacles there. But let's see what's under the king of wands. Yeah, so I would say, you know, be cautious, be wary, take it slow. As with the hangman kind of takes a break and uh, watch the energy. That would be my advice. Okay, Aquarius, so uh, good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channel is to always, always shine your light.